Hey guys, it's Seawood HD here, and I quickly wanted to showcase a neat little website called acpatterns.com. On here, you can create designs for Animal Crossing on the go through your phone, laptop, or desktop. However, since I'm not an artist by any means, it also has a really useful feature of importing photos. Just click on the convert button and it'll bring up your computer's files. Obviously from here you can select any picture you want and it'll crop it so it fits the normal square template. Here comes the interesting part. You need to go through these couple options and pick how you want it to be converted. You can play around with these quality options and whenever you get the options you think look best, click convert and it'll throw it right into the editor. Certain high detailed pictures won't look the best as you only have so many pixels to work with. But things like sprites and low poly images can come out really nice in game. If you want to change the name, creator, town, and type of the design you want it to be, you can do that with this option on the left. Once you're ready to send it off, click generate QR code and it'll pop up instantly. You can also download the code if you want to share it around or save it for later. I converted a whole bunch of pics like game box art, a praying dog, and my logo. The sprite for my logo didn't convert over like I hoped it would, but I was able to fix it a little bit with the editor. I also wanted to try out some ground textures from Pokemon Platinum to try and make a path, so I grabbed three of those as well. Once you have your QR codes, you can go into the Nintendo Switch Online app, which should be linked to your Animal Crossing New Horizons profile on your Switch. Click Designs, and then scan the QR code. After scanning, select Save, and then hop over to the actual game. Open the Custom Designs app on your phone, press plus to download the picture, and then the slot you want to copy it to. And there you go! That picture from your computer is now in-game with you and you can display it or wear it however you'd like. You can just repeat the scanning process from the app and get all the rest of them too. The app on your phone is only able to store one QR code at a time, so it'll replace the previous with the most recent one. But that's all there is to it. Some of my picks turned out really well in game like the low poly scene and the Mario 64 box art. I placed the path designs on the ground as well and they actually worked out a lot better than I expected. You could use this website to create a bunch of really cool paths for your island, or even recreate a whole route from Pokemon. The possibilities are kind of endless with this website, and can be a shortcut to creating complex designs you want in Animal Crossing New Horizons. But that's all for this video, if you want any of the QR codes I created while working on this video, I'll leave a link in the description below to the folder. If you couldn't tell, I've been in love with this game ever since it came out, so if there's any kind of video you guys want to see from me, please let me know in the comments. But for now, I'ma get up out of here, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, see ya!